Just wanted to show you guys what is going on here. Uh, whenever I plug this in, it goes to starting. And it just never goes past that. Um, I already called Bowflex. They sent out a new console. Um, I called them, I think it was Friday. The console shipped on Monday or Tuesday. It's supposed to be here tomorrow. Um, if you keep messing with it though, you can get it to do other things. And basically what it wants you to do is it wants you to keep installing a new uh, firmware upgrade. So the new console come in and it's basically um, looks like it's going to be pretty straightforward. Take the two Allen screws out here, slide the old console off, disconnect the power connector, reconnect the power connector, put it all back together. So we're going to get into doing that as soon as I find the Allen wrench. Okay, I found an Allen wrench. It may not be the one that came with it, but it's one that's going to work for this. Two screws, there's one right here, one right here that's got to come off. May actually be four screws. I think there is two on the other side. See the electrical connector. The electrical connector come off pretty easy. There are two push tabs on the side of it. Here is the new console. Hook up the electrical connector first. Went into the starting. Loading. Sound done. Set up user. Uh, enter for yes. User one counts. Enter my weight. Enable heart rate, yes. Erase workouts, yes. Save user one. All right. So now let's go ahead and get it to sync. So it's going through the startup. Loading.
sound down. User one. Console update, I'll figure that. So start update. Everything's back to normal. So, I um, believe that completes it. I'm going to do a workout probably in a little bit. I usually don't record my workouts. Some people have asked me to start recording them. Uh, I may start doing it. I do workouts a little different than what's in the app. Um, and I'll have to go over that in another video. But that concludes the replacement of the console. It seems like it fixed the issue. Uh, basically, the Bowflex was down seven days total, five business days.